Alrighty, so I just replaced the hood struts and now I'm going to work on taking off the grill and the front bumper uh, so I can clean them off, straighten out the bumper as much as I can and paint them all and get, it, get the whole truck ready for the uh, bed liner. Uh, first thing I have to do is remove this plastic bit over here. Uh, it's like the cover for the radiator fan. So it looks like we've got, uh, got to remove all of these uh, Christmas tree tabs here. And I know there's supposed to be two tabs, but it looks like we're, we're missing one. Uh, and this one's almost out hilariously. But I got to take all those off and then I could take off this plastic bit. Uh, then we move on to the next step. Alrighty, so I removed the uh, plastic cover over there. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, before I take off the plastic cover, you have to remove your spare tire retrieval tool, which uh, will be mounted, be mounted right here. So that's what that rod is, oh boy. Like that. So it's, it's mounted like this. It's just gonna pop that out, and then you could pop out the, the shroud. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, Looks like I have a couple of Phillips, Phillips heads to take off. Look, two are missing. That's awesome. Um, and then underneath here, I don't know if you all can see it. I believe they're called air dams. I gotta take those out. You can see it on the side that's damaged, actually. So I just pull these guys out here, pop them out completely like that. And then I should be able to take, to take the... Uh, the grill off. I'm gonna try to do the grill before the headlights. All right, let's see how this works. All right, so I'm actually gonna take the headlights out first. I'll show you how to do that. It's a pretty cool design here. You just there are these tabs here. You gotta pull those up. Make sure you've got them where they're supposed to be. Just gotta keep pulling them. Uh, well, I'll get those out. I'm gonna try to show you guys here. So that that tab right there needs to align or that bolt needs to align with the tab so you can just pull it right out same thing over here and as you can tell i gotta pull that one up a little bit more so that um, it'll align and then i should be able to easily just slide it out so i'm just going to work on that and then i'll show you how to pull it out and disconnect it all right i have the tabs aligned where they need to be i should be able to just push it out go right here fun times Just to show you guys, so the damage from the front end has the grill rubbing up against the headlight, so it's just a little bit more difficult than normal. So you just push it from right back here where the connector is, and it'll come out. I'm gonna need two hands to do this. So let me just uh, push this down and manhandle this headlight out. And uh, this one, I'll just show you. This one I already took out. It was real easy. I didn't think it'd be that easy. So I, I wasn't filming, I was just trying it out. So it just slides in and out real easy. So I'm gonna just do the same thing with that headlight. Alrighty, headlights are out. <laughs> now we gotta take out the uh, turn signal um, assembly or lights. Uh, these are held in by one bolt right there. I'm trying to get out of the shade, but right there, that bolt on either side. Uh, annoyingly enough, that size is 730 seconds. Thankfully, I do have a set of uh, standard, oh, that's not it, where is it? Standard tools, standard sockets. I uh, got a little hack for you guys too. Um, so all of my tools are actually at work, so I don't have a quarter inch extension handy. It was just the junk tools I have at home. So you just put that right there. Take a flathead, get in the corners, and you just push down and turn, and it's working. And that's just a little, <laughs> just a little uh, socket hack there for you. All right, so I'm gonna just take that out. Get that 
finger strength. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the box with everything else. Now this should just pop right out, probably. Yep. Alrighty, so those are out. Now it looks like in addition to these uh, Phillips head screws that were up here, we've got two more on either side. So we got one, two here. And then we go to this side here. And we've got one, two right there. Uh, I've removed everything else. I got the little Christmas tree uh, clips out on the bottom. So I should be able to just remove those and uh, pull this grill off. There it is. All right, now that the grill's off, I'm gonna work on taking off the bumper. The first step is gonna be to remove this, this guy right here. It's a little sheath, like a protective, uh, protective layer. Um, I'll show you how to take it off. I have to go under the truck. All right, I'm under the truck. Uh, that uh, cover is secured by eight of these tabs here. Here's one, two, three on the bottom, and then one, two, three, four, five on top. So I'm going to remove those, and that's going to give me access to the bolts uh, so that I could take off the bumper. All right, so good news. I just removed the bottom three. Now I have access to these bolts here uh, so I've got two right there one two and then one two same way on the other side all right just a quick lesson in cheap tools taking off the bumper I thought I stripped the bolt but what actually happened is the socket broke this is a very cheap tool set uh, like I said um, I get some focus here like I said all my actual tools are at work but thankfully I have some backup. There's actually like a Craftsman quality. Uh, this is just some some garbage tool set I found in my um, in my room, probably for assembling furniture. Actually, I think that's what this kit is from. Uh, so, invest in good sockets. I'm gonna just get back to this. I just want to show you guys uh, why if you're gonna do stuff like car work in your driveway, get some good tools, or else this stuff will happen. Alrighty, and the bumper is off actually sitting right here uh, I was wrong about something you don't have to remove these I just realized it's just like a some kind of brace support for the bumper itself um, and then this, so this is the bottom right here that's just like a lip right here so I just kept it I took it all off as one piece and I found the culprit for the reason why the bumper is bent uh, this guy over here this bracket as you can tell has been knocked back and that's why the bumper is bent. So I'm gonna figure out a way to straighten that out. As you can see on this side over here, it's nice and even. And on this side, it is not. <laughs> it's bent all the way back. So fix that, we're good to go. And that is how you remove the entire front end off of an F-150. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to fix this up and get it back together and look looking real nice.